Personally, just looking at it makes me uncomfortable. Hey guys, what's up? LD Shire Lady here, and today's mod review is on a little mod called the Cute Puppy Mod. Yes, it is literally called the Cute Puppy Mod. Let me know your feelings on this adorable mod in the comments below. So, unfortunately, it doesn't seem like these cute little critters spawn in the wild, which means I have to go into creative mode and get spawn eggs to make them spawn. But maybe I'm wrong, maybe if you look hard enough, you'll stumble across a little multicolored puppy. So, I'm gonna show you these first few, and you will see just how crazy they look. Look at this guy, little cute purple, he's showing his butt to me. Look at his face, he's got a huge nose. They all have the same model, but obviously they all have different rainbow coloring so we've got red and blue green he looks a bit funky and a yellow one which has a little black line on his chin he kind of looks like a mix between a pikachu and a bumblebee with his tongue sticking out they all have their tongues permanently stuck out so first of all let's give them all some names now obviously since this is not Shadowcraft, I don't have any suggestions from you guys for what to call these, so I apologise for the awful names I've come up with. So the first one is Dingo, we've got Willy over here, and Dexter, we've got Bambi over here, and Himalaya somewhere behind here. Now this is pretty much all they do, you spawn them in, you give them a name, and you trap them somewhere to keep them close by. They don't attack like wolves, and they don't do any tricks, they just look cool. You can, however, use a lead on them and lead them around wherever you want and attach them to fences just like your farm animals. Or, you know, take them for a walk. That could be an interesting thing to do in Minecraft with the creepers around. Now, if you're looking to upgrade your sword from perhaps a stone sword or even an iron sword, then these puppies actually drop the perfect materials to do so. Here we have a visual representation of the strength of all the swords, starting from wood which has four, stone with five, iron with six, and the blue puppy swords also have six attack damage, but let's face it, they look a lot cooler. Now they don't have as much attack as diamond, but they're really only one less, so they're pretty good. The unfortunately, the only way to get one of these drops is to kill the puppy, and it will drop one puppy car. Sorry, Himalaya. So as you can see, we got a purple one from that little puppy, and if we want to make a sword out of it, we're going to have to get two purple ones. Now, if you do manage to obtain two of the puppy cars of any colour, then this is the crafting recipe to make the sword. You can replace these purple ones with blue, yellow, red, or green puppy cars, and they will give the matching sword. And it is a very attractive sword, made of dead puppies. Now, as you might have seen, there are actually a couple more different kinds of puppies, and they are a Herobrine puppy and a Steve puppy. So... We'll start with the Steve puppy. He looks, well, he looks like Steve, but with a tail and weird floppy ears. Personally, just looking at it makes me uncomfortable, but he's kind of cute and we're going to give him the name Fergus. So he's now kind of a pet Steve puppy. And of course, we've got the Herobrine puppy who looks very similar, but has Herobrine's white eyes. We're going to give him the name Glenn. Ooh, they sniffing each other's butts. Guys, that's freaky. Now there is actually a weird item in this mod that I can't account for and it's only obtainable in creative mode, there's no crafting recipe for it and it's a microphone and the description just says, how did that get there? It's a little bit weird but it only does 4 attack damage, but it looks pretty cool. And the final feature of this mod is probably the coolest of all. There's actually a boss in this mod. And as you guessed, it is a puppy, but he is very ferocious. He is called Six Killers Puppy, and he uses this ban hammer, which does 24 attack damage. So as you can see, as soon as you spawn him in, he's already aggroed to you. But doesn't he look freaking adorable? He's probably the cutest one of them all. Now he's even got this huge HP bar at the top of the screen, so you know he's a real boss. And look how much I hurt him when I hit him once. This sword does six attack damage, don't forget. And as you can see, he's holding his little ban hammer. It's very cute, but he is quite deadly. He hits for one heart, which isn't too much. Now, when you eventually manage to defeat this little guy, he doesn't seem to actually drop anything, which is unfortunate. I would really love it if he dropped his hammer. I have tried it a couple of times and he didn't drop anything, but I don't know, maybe one out of a hundred times he does drop the ban hammer. And that would be awesome because it does 24 attack damage. However, you can always just go into creative mode and give yourself a ban hammer from the creative menu and then you will wield that power for yourself. So that's pretty much the entirety of the cute puppy mod. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new and I will see you in the next video. I don't see anything going wrong. Oh no, there was an explosion! And he returned her to me. Why are you giving me a freaking... What? 